Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! Um, my name is Lily and if you've never seen my channel before, I make videos about what life is really like here in beautiful Bella Calabria. Today's video is a video for just shits and giggles. It's nothing to get too wound up about, but it is an honest video about annoying and crazy Calabrian traditions that drive me absolutely fucking crazy. So um, it's just for fun, you guys. Calabrians out there, don't take it too personal, okay? I don't want a bunch of nasty comments down below, okay? So this is just for fun, and you all know this is the truth, okay? I'm just giving you the real deal here, what goes on here in Calabria, guys. It's crazy, all right? So let's get into it. All right, so the first annoying ass tradition that happens here in Calabria that is so mind blowing, I have to give you guys a little bit of backstory, all right? So I was pregnant here with Sunny in 2016, 2017, right? I didn't speak any Italian. And for the most part, I had a very isolated pregnancy. I just kind of like hung out by myself all day. I went swimming, I went to the beach, I went for long walks. Nobody really talked to me because I wasn't talkable too. Like I just couldn't get along with anybody because I didn't speak any Italian. So months passed by and um, obviously his family knew that we were expecting a baby, his whole big family, and nobody asked me for the name. I remember being like seven and a half, half months pregnant and nobody was asking me or curious about what name we were going to give the baby, which is kind of strange. I mean, I just thought it was like a cultural thing. And then one day I remember I was on the beach with uh, Angelo's parents and I said, don't you guys want to know what I'm thinking about naming the baby? And they were like, oh yeah, but we already know. His name is going to be Carlo. I was like, what? His name is going to be Carlo? They're like, yes. Here in Calabria, our tradition is the firstborn uh, male uh, of the father is always going to be named after the, the nonno. And I was like, say what? what? You think my child's name is going to be Carlo? And they were like, yes, of course, that's how it's done here. It's crazy, you guys. The tradition here is that the firstborn male, no matter what, just gets the last, the first name of the nono. It's crazy, you guys. So I remember having to like break it down to them and let them know that like, I'm sorry, I don't think that will happen. Um, I remember Nono like actually crying when he found out that the name wasn't going to be Carlo. It was a lot of pressure. I mean, I did have some neighbors and some family members like kind of joke with me about it. Like, it's okay. You don't have to name him Carlo. But like everybody really thought I was going to name Sonny Carlo. So anyways, that's the first super crazy Calabrian tradition that I was not prepared for. And uh, at the end, I did name Sunny Sunny Carlo. So Nona was Nona was very very happy with that. But yeah, I I couldn't believe it. I was like lost in name land too. I was actually considering naming Sunny Love or Lupo, which means wolf in Italian. So I I needed like help. I needed somebody to like guide me through this name game. And in the end, I just chose Sunny because. Sunny Godfather, Sunny, he's such a sunny disposition, and I don't know, he ended up being Sunny Carlo, which is a perfect name, but yeah, his original name was just going to be Carlo, can you even believe it? He does not look like a Carlo at all. All right, guys, the second super annoying, crazy Calabrian tradition is birthdays. All right, guys, in America, in the world, I mean, pretty much in the world, I'm pretty sure about this, when it's your birthday... You get all your drinks and food paid for by your friends. This is what happens. They take you out for dinner or they take you out for drinks or they take you out to go to an amusement park. Like you get taken care of on your birthday, right? Seems so normal. No, here in Calabria, when it's your birthday, you have to throw a party at a bar and have basically open bar for all your friends and you have to provide food for everybody. It's insane you guys actually i'm not going to celebrate any more birthdays here because i just am opposed to this philosophically i think that this is wrong um last birthday i, sp I spent six hundred dollars on my birthday to entertain 30 of my favorite friends because i had to have a big party of course and that's just the way it goes here sometimes they'll give you like drink tickets like you'll limit like you get a two drink per person but usually you you pay for like a spread of buff like a buffet spread full of food 
And that's how people like go to birthdays here. Like it's kind of crazy. And yeah, something I'm not, I, do, I cannot get into this tradition. This is, does not work for me. So if you ever come and want to celebrate my birthday, I'm not paying for nothing, okay? I'll pay for you on your birthday, but my birthday is, I'm the queen, okay? And I need to be queenified all over the place, all right? So birthdays in Calabria, like do not celebrate them here, all right? Trust me. Oh my God. The third thing on the list, I took notes because I needed to take notes, is the six day work week. Has anybody heard about this ever in the entire world? I have not. So in Italy, children go to school on Saturday and people, instead of having a five day work week, have a six day work week. It is very, very normal for you to work Monday through Saturday. Like what? And you don't get paid for any overtime. Like there's no minimum or maximum hours that you can work before you get paid overtime here. Like they'll just slave you to death. Like people will literally work here every single day for three months in the summer. They won't get one day off. There's no like employment law here or anything like that. No protection for the worker. It's just like, yeah, you got to work six days a week. And the poor children, the children. The children don't get Saturday and Sunday off. They have to go for a half day on Saturdays. Now, I can kind of maybe see myself getting used to this for the kids because then they get to go to have another day at school, but it's like kids need time off as well. Is that not crazy? Like six days a week people work here and they go to school here. Like why? Oh my God, the next thing. All right, so I'm not sure if this is for all of Italy, but I'm assuming it is because Italians are very fashionable. By the way, I hope you guys like my uh, little cowboy shirt today. Um, they're very fashionable here. So this wouldn't surprise me if this happened in all of Italy. When you go to the gym here, people are dressed like they're going to a motherfucking fashion show. Like even men wear like cute outfits to the gym. Like I'm all about kind of looking cute at the gym, but I definitely do not wear makeup or jewelry. And I definitely don't put too much thought into like what I'm about to wear because I go to the gym to sweat. I literally go to the gym to be on the verge of tears at all times. That's what I'm trying to push myself. People go to the gym, they got their matching Adidas with the matching thing, everything's color coordinated. They got like the wristbands and then, oh my God, this kind of leads me into the next one, but this kind of co goes together with the gym. The jewelry of it all, all right. So the next like very Italian Calabrian tradition that I just cannot understand, please somebody help me, is the bracelets of it all. All right, so men and women, mostly women though, but men too, will wear like, I swear to God, like 10 bracelets, sometimes even more. Sometimes they wear like 30 bracelets. And so, and they wear them to the gym. And I'm just like, I don't understand this. Do you sleep with these on? Do you shower with these on? And if you don't, does that mean you take off 30 bracelets each day? And like, why? Why so many bracelets? I cannot get into it. Like I, I try to be cool and wear some jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry girl as much as I am very glam and everything. I just, I don't like too much stuff on me. I just, I feel claustrophobic. These bitches at the gym at eight o'clock in the morning, full makeup, okay, and like 30 freaking bracelets on. And the bracelet thing is very, very Italian. I've seen this all over the place. This, this bracelet, like stacking, stacking so many. And they'll do it on both arms too. And it looks like chains, honestly. After a while, these women just have like so much on them. And, and men too. What is going on, Italians? Can you please explain this crazy obsession with bracelets? Like why? Do you take them off at night? Do you shower with them? I would like to understand better this tradition. So somebody please explain it to me. The last thing that I wanna talk about, and I'm pretty sure this is all of Italy again, because I remember in Florence when I lived there, this was true as well. When you rent an apartment, in America, you get the apartment empty, usually with freshly painted walls and like new carpet. Here, it's like the old tenants just packed up their clothes and books and they leave all of their furniture there. And you can't throw it away. You have to deal with their old furniture. 
Is this not infuriating? Like, why? Take your, I don't want your choices. I don't want your bookshelves that take up the whole wall. I don't want your TV, like, wall units. I don't want your crappy Italian, like, beds. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Why would I put up? And they, and they, and they're used to this. They, they usually move without bringing furniture with them. So they're just like these vagabonds that go from apartment to apartment without bringing their own furniture and making the space their own. Like I am I am renting right now. I'm renting a beautiful house and I love it. And I have been able to work. I had great luck in that um, all the furniture here was like wooden and beige and kind of like my color palette. So I was really able to work with it. But like sometimes you get apartments where like the walls are red and they have like a yellow couch and like they're very into these strong colors here in Italy. It's crazy. I mean, you just like have to deal with it. What is going on Calabrians? Can we please like not have other people's furniture in our houses? Like I cannot wait. I will be buying a house soon and I cannot wait to buy every single piece of furniture in there. It's going to be my choices, my colors, everything. So I hate dealing like this desk. And this wall unit are not mine. They were here when I got here. I did paint all the walls in here and reposition all the furniture, but I, I had to work with what I had. It's super, super annoying, you guys. <laughs> that being said, Calabria is an amazing place to live. I love it here. I don't want people to think that I'm just complaining about Calabria because I am not. You can go look at the 300 other videos that I've made about how much I love living here. This video is just to kind of make fun of like the weird, bizarre, traditional differences that we have. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of weird American traditions that we have. I mean, God, we're out of our minds. So, you know, nobody's perfect. It's just observation and it's just uh, me bringing you guys some, you know, very important information that you might want to keep in your brain next time you come to Calabria. Like, do not have a birthday party for yourself here because it doesn't mean what you think it's going to mean where people come and buy you drinks. It means that you have to pay for everybody. Do not have a baby here, okay? Because they're just going to name it for you if it's a boy. So, or, or you have to fight the whole family to get the name that you want. Um, I mean, if you go to the gym, knock yourself out if you want to put full makeup on and have like a cute little outfit and bracelets on. I do not do that. I am kind of gross in the gym. And if you see me in the gym, like don't talk to me, okay? Because I don't want to talk to anybody. Um... The Saturday work week, like what is going on? Like, can we just might not do that? I don't think anybody does that in the world. Why would you not have Saturday off, especially for the kids? Like Saturday morning, watching cartoons, eating cereal. Like, there's nothing better. Kids need that. And then, yeah, the the renting system. God dang it, guys! Like, oh, so hard. Don't rent here. Come and just buy. All right, guys, just buy. And speaking of that, if you are looking to buy a house, check out my website, ColabriaDreaming.com. It has all the listings that we have for sale and for rent. And um, if you're thinking about coming to Calabria, let me know. I always want to meet new people. And go check out my Instagram, you guys. It's Calabria underscore Dreaming. It has a lot of my personal like stories and stuff. That's just my life. You get to see more into like what I do on a daily basis. It's really silly and funny and Sometimes even Sunny pops up there here and there. So go check that out. And please always leave your comments below. I really love um, interacting with all of my viewers and fans and subscribers and all the people who want to talk shit to. I love it. So leave it all down in the comments. And I love you guys. And let me know what is the most annoying tradition in your culture. I would love to see that down in the comments below. So thanks again for watching, you guys. Ciao.